Ooh, what a play as a tour boss stay up in this mud. I am finished with my uh, entry into Idic Beer's March 2014 Terrain Square competition. 12 inch by 12 inch display or scenery piece on uh, hard, he used hard, hardboard. I guess that's like cardboard, hard cardboard. But I actually used this piece of wood. And um, yeah, I built this Manufactorum uh, Last Stand by the Imperial Guard. Specifically, these guys, the Death Corps of Krieg. So let's take you from. Ah, be quiet, alarm. Let's take you from the top to the bottom. Here in the very top of the crow's nest, you can see this um, wounded Death Corps of Kriegsmen. I didn't glue him down so that we can take a look at him. He's been painted up like the rest of my Death Corps of Kriegsmen and he's all bloodied from this wound in his chest and he is trying valiantly to reach this uh, comm piece and the comm piece is just a regular Vox unit taken from a Cadian sprue. When he hits that when he hits the uh, send button, it's gonna send a little remote spark to any remote units like this. There's one here and there's one in the front and they are going to send an electrical shark shock uh, that is going to light the Prometheum barrels that are in the nearby vicinity and send the whole place up in flames. And it's also connected by these um, debt cords. So anywhere you see this black debt cord, um, that's gonna send a little signal to blow everything up in the nearby area. So here, the cord goes all the way to the back and it shoots these rocket pods up and blows up the flag, the Death Corps of Krieg flag, so that the enemy cannot capture it. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I really liked Mousetrap when I was a little boy, the, the board game. So there's a flag that I did. And yeah, everything you see was basically painted in a very cheap acrylic hobby store paint. I got from a craft store, actually. I decided not to use um, my expensive Games Workshop acrylic paint, but I used this acrylic paint from, uh, what is this? America's favorite acrylic paint cream co uh, serum coat. So I used a gray for the building and kind of this dark brown for, for the earth. And then I added to the earth with with AK Interactive's Damp Earth effects to give it a very muddy look that you might recognize from my Death Corps of Krieg troopers. It creates a very nice natural effect. I dry brushed with some sandy colors, graveyard earth. Uh, I added lots of sprue to the front. I chopped up a lot of sprue and added them to the front to look like bricks. And you've got some barbed wire here from Secret Weapon Miniatures, some plastic eye beams that I glued at different angles a spare tire section from a Bane Blade tank. And here you guys can see all of the barrels from Pegasus Hobbies. I use AK Interactive's engine grime to make the, or engine streaks, engine oil streaks to make the little puddles of Prometheum. So it looks like the barrels were just tipped over and all the oil is leaking out and it's ready to get lit and have everything explode in the area and take everything out. There's some more sandbags. I painted the sandbags with Zandri dust, um, shaded with Agrax Earth Shade, and then highlighted back up with Zandri dust. I also used engine streaks effects for the um, oil coming out of the grills. All of the grills are going to have oil coming out of them. And I, for the for the for this giant pipe, I just used known oil and Agrax Earth Shade. But yeah, for everything else, I kind of used a bunch of different weathering powders and stuff. Um, let's see, what else is there to say? These are some extra shells from the Bane Blade kit. I tried to paint the Manufactorum sign, the Mechanicus sign, just like the, uh, just like the box cover. And yeah, there's a chain from Gale Force 9 Hobbies, which I used to secure the flag. Actually, I actually had to break the flag back off because uh, it was, I was having a hard time trying to paint it. And there's the uh, Nurgling Green Door with rust effects, again, used, painted using Doombo Brown. And you've got some spare guardsmen las guns lying around. So, I hope you guys like it. Um, the, the, actually, ironically, the most fun I had was painting this wounded Kriegsman. Um, just because he comes with the Quartermaster kit for the Death Corps of Krieg from Forge World. But yeah, when I saw his ripped open uniform, I was like, oh, I gotta paint it all bloody with Tamiya effects clear red mixed with black. 
Um, so thank you Itig Beer for hosting this this month and thank you everybody for posting up awesome videos of your your terrain. Hello. Look at the inside and how rusted it is inside. Uh, I had a great time watching all of your videos and I really uh, enjoyed having uh, to see all of the progress that you guys all made throughout the month. It was really awesome to see. So thank you and thank you for motivating me and inspiring me to uh, get this done. Um, yeah, so good luck to everybody in the competition and yeah, there's a little street lamp right over there. And um, let me know what you think, comments and likes and all that stuff, feel free. And we'll see you in the next video. I'll also post everything up on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash warbostayfanpage, all one word. So thanks for watching, hope you guys have a great day, bye.